going to be revisiting an older video to see what sold, what I made a profit on, and what I probably could have left on the shelf. We are here today at Black Rose Antiques and Collectibles of Chambersburg, and they are closing in 45 minutes. So let's not waste any time. Let's get in and see what we can find that we can flip for a profit. Here we go. Signed a turkey, $2.95. What is it signed? I must know. Mm, these pieces usually sell for like 20 to 25 when they are a chicken. This obviously is not a chicken. This looks to be a turkey. Let's see. What was it? Price set? $2.95. I think I will pay that for the turkey. Got some donkey planters down here. These make me think of Casey. Last time I was with Casey, she bought one of these. It looks like these are a dollar fifty. This is one, this one is a dollar fifty. And there doesn't appear to be any damage on it, so I'll take it for a dollar fifty. He's, <laughs> he's got his tongue hanging out. <laughs> he's kind of cute. I'll take him for a buck fifty. Let's look at the other ones down here. Cause there are a few more back in there. That one's got a little crack on it, unfortunately, but it's only a dollar twenty-five. What about this guy? This one is a dollar fifty. Might as well grab them all. All the little donkeys—they can go to live together in my cart. <laughs> Very cute. This one's kind of got that quilted look to it, and I have found these salt and pepper shakers before. I think they do pretty well. So I may grab this guy with the quilted look to him. Alright, well, let's look at that pretty lady up there. She looks like she could be California pottery. As a matter of fact, I think we've looked I think we've looked at her before. The Lee Hollywood Art California Pottery. I'm considering this California pottery little lady. I do love California. It's a, like a weakness that I have. So I'm considering her. Um, considering her. I feel like 12 is like right there. I love her eyelashes. I think that's really what gets me about the Dali. I'm not even sure if I'm pronouncing it right, but the Delhi, um, the, that pottery, the figurines always have the best eyelashes in all the land. <laughs> I think I'm going to do it. Also, it's 30% off. I just realized that. So, okay, now I feel better. <laughs> this right here is marked $5, and I am 98% positive that this is a Wendell August Forge piece. I've bought and sold these in the past. They usually sell for twenty to twenty-five dollars. I'm not sure why it wouldn't be marked. Most of their stuff is marked, but you can see there where it's hammered aluminum. I feel like we've looked in this one before. That one's marked sterling. It's fifteen dollars. You know the price of sterling is going up pretty quickly. I think I'll grab that. Why not? It's a beautiful fan. It's enameled and it's sterling. This one appears to be marked $5. The chain is marked sterling. The stone looks like it could be jade. Not positive on that, but Andrew did just invest in a gem tester with all the jewelry that we've been buying. So I will buy that for $5 and we will test it on the gem tester. For $5. Well, I happened to be walking up by this booth and this caught my eye and it reminded me a lot of the frog purses that we got recently at auction. Um, when I opened it up, it actually says bags by Lily. I was really hoping it was going to say Mary Frances, um, but it's very similar in style. You can see the sequins and the beading. It's really nice. I mean, I wish it was Mary Frances, but I'm okay with it the way it is. For only $12.99. That's quite nice. I think I'm going to purchase it. Look at all of these adorable little shelf sitters. 
can't help but wonder if these are worth a ton of money, like the little the little sunflower ones. I'm a little bit tempted to look them up. A little bit tempted. And then we've got a random like apple down at the bottom. I'm not sure what's going on here. He's he like looks like our little guy right here for two dollars sells for 89. let's look at completed and listed just to be sure there does not appear to be any listed i think i'm going to clear the shelf of the shelf sitters all of them including the funny little apple guy i can't leave him behind I had to walk around the entire shelf and I noticed this beautiful piece of glass. I need both hands to pick that up though. I can see there are some hard water stains on the inside, but depending on who makes it, it could, it could not matter. Come here, shaving mug. You sit right here. The bottom is cloudy. They don't see any signatures on there, so I think I'm going to pass on it for 40 Alright, so our total spend there was $109, no, $102, because she said $109, and I asked if she'd use my tax ID number, but she had not, so it was $102 <laughs> without taxes. Um, so I feel like we got some really great stuff today. I was a little bit surprised it was only $102, but I was pleasantly surprised. If you enjoyed this video, we will be posting videos just like this every Wednesday, Friday, and Sunday, so make sure you stay tuned, make sure you hit the subscribe button, and I have included a link to the playlist down in the description.